He stands in on a 1-1 pitch. And that ball is rocked deep to right field. See you later. An absolute bomb and a two-run home run for Garrett Callahan. Deep, high, majestic drive down the right field line. All the right fielder Milstein could do is watch it fly about 10, 20 feet over the wall as he crosses home plate. So that gives the Bombers now their first hit and also a 6-0 lead. That was the call of another Garrett Callahan home run on VIC Radio and the Bombers Radio Network. But this one would be more memorable than all the others. This one got the attention of Jared Carabas, one of the hosts of Starting 9 and Section 10 Pod on Barstool Sports, and someone who has amassed over 300,000 followers on Twitter. I'm Michael Memis of Bombers Radio Network, and today I'm going to explore all the sides of the bat flip that went viral. Let's start with the flip itself. Though Callahan already had multiple home runs that season for the Bombers, this was the first one he had done a bat flip on. It's probably honestly the first home run I've ever actually bat flipped on. Um, that's probably one of the further ones I've hit in my career here at IC so far and stuff. But, I mean, I was having a pretty crappy day at the plate. I think I was 0 for 6 going into that at bat. And we were, Vassar was starting to kind of get back into that game as well. So I felt like uh, that was a good time, you know, trying to get the team pumped up. This was the moment that Peter Rader, the manager of creative media for athletics at Ithaca College, was waiting for. I wanted one like ever since I started shooting baseball this season because I never I hadn't really had a chance to shoot baseball since I was in high school because as a freshman they didn't play any home games obviously so I you know kind of mentioned it to a few of the guys at media day and you know around it's like yeah you know I've always wanted a bat flip clip like it would be you know cool if you guys you know did some cool celebrations and you know there you have it Callahan just rips a home run into right field and then you know launches the bat i knew it right away i was like oh my god this is like the coolest thing ever meanwhile neither ethan birch nor max tanzer who were calling the game noticed the bat flip it was funny because i actually didn't see the bat flip and i was so engaged in the moment you know this is the first ever baseball game i ever called and it's always been my dream to call a baseball game so i was kind of hoping and hoping i would see a home run and when it hit I, all i saw was just the ball go flying i knew it was a home run right off the bat and it was like just my initial reaction, like, what am I going to say? Because like, this is my moment. What am I going to say? And I, uh, the, the call, like, see you later kind of just came with it. But I didn't see the bat flip originally. Uh, we were both looking at the ball. Um, and if I had seen the bat flip, I probably would have commented on it, which is something, you know, with hindsight, I wish I did a little bit more. Uh, but uh, no, it was such a cool, uh, cool play for him. And that's what I, I mean, personally, as a baseball fan, I know people have different thoughts on it, but I love the bat flips. I love the energy and so forth. And it was great to see that from the Bombers. Now, the social media post, Raider got to work using his amazing editing skills to put together the radio call and the bat flip home run for a social media post for Ithaca Baseball. Tanzer was very excited to hear his voice on those videos. I, def- I definitely didn't think it was going to go viral to that extent, uh, but it was cool. You know, Peter and I have a pretty good uh, friendship as well, and we'd always talk about, uh, you know, him getting to film a video with a call of mine behind it, uh, and we got it to work out, and that was really special. Like Tanzer, Birch and Callahan couldn't predict the events that were to follow, but Raider knew what was going to happen. I knew he was going to see it. Like, I-, I have a friend who goes to Coastal Carolina, and he shoots for their baseball team, and they do a lot more bat flips than we do here in Ithaca. Uh, they also, you know, they have a lot more national attention, but my friend Max was, uh, he got this really cool bat flip and Carabas featured it. I also, I, I kind of know the guy who writes for the Orioles for Barstool. So I, I kind of DM'd him. I was like, hey, let Carabas know to retweet this. It would be huge for the program. So I knew that it had a pretty good chance of getting retweeted. Raider had worked for the Orioles last summer as a video content intern, which is why he knew the writer for Barstool Sports for the Orioles. He shot his shot in a quote tweet on the original Ithaca Baseball post, adding Carabas, and the shot worked. Carabas tweeted about 20 minutes after Raider added him, saying, And absolute pro move by at Ithaca Baseball to go slow-mo for the bat flip. Flick of the wrist, you don't often see that one. Lost art, much respect. Bat flip grade 8.3. That tweet has 13 comments, 103 retweets, and 831 likes. The original Ithaca baseball post has 77,500 views. It was surreal for Callahan to have Carabas tweet his home run and rate his bat flip. 
Yeah, so, I mean, I saw it on the IC baseball page, which was cool enough as it was, and I retweeted that, and a lot of people were like, wow, that's so sick and stuff. And then I get a text from our center fielder, Mike Nott. He's like, dude, Jared Carabas just uh, posted that on his Twitter, and I followed him forever. Like, obviously, as a baseball player, if you're going to follow one guy on Twitter, and, I mean, it's probably going to be – he's going to be at the top of the list for one of those guys. And, I mean, he's just so cool to follow, and he's always with MLB stuff and always posting really cool baseball content. So the fact that I got on his page, I was pretty much shaking for an hour or two, like, holy crap, like, I can't believe it. Like, and then, my obviously, my Twitter started blowing up, and everyone started liking it, and it got, like, 80,000 views on the original IC Baseball um, video. So it was just unbelievable and, like, really shocking. Similar reactions happened with Birch and Tanzer. I was sitting on my bed. I had a really long day. I had the COVID shot beforehand. I did the baseball game, and then I went right to an ICTV show. So I was brutally exhausted. And I'm sitting on my bed, and Peter texted me, and he's like, hey, dude, I just got your call. It looks great. And I watched the video, and I was already ecstatic because I was like, let's go. Like, I'm on Ithaca Baseball. Uh, my call is on Ithaca Baseball. That's already a dream come true. I'm so happy that that was, that was pictured. And I saw that uh, Peter tagged Jared Carabas to ask for a little bathroom grade, and I saw it. I thought that was funny. I liked it, of course. And – I remember it was like 20, maybe 30 minutes later, and I was casually scrolling through Twitter. I re- reload Twitter, and I saw it there. I freaked out. I jumped. I called my parents, and never did I think it'd be on his account. Like, what are the chances he recognizes Ithaca baseball? Uh, it's just – I know where – I mean, Division three baseball, you just don't expect it. And listen, it was a really good quality video. That's why I think they liked it so much. Peter did a great job at it, and the slow motion bat flip did it all. And the fact that my my, my – uh, my voice was in the back, really made it too, just for myself. But regardless, it was such a great moment for all of Ithaca that we were recognized on a platform like that, you know? That was wild. Definitely one of the coolest experiences ever. Um, I was on the phone with Peter Rader, who filmed the video. Um, he was just talking about how he sent it out to Carabas and stuff. I get off the phone literally like 20 seconds later. I open up Twitter and I see that Carabas tweeted it, of course, me following him, uh, which was so, so cool. Um, I'm so happy for Peter because he just does such a tremendous job and he works so hard. And he was the real key to that, obviously getting such a good shot. Um, but also just to have Ethan and I's voices heard by that many people uh, is really, really special, especially highlighted by someone that I've been following for a very long time. Uh, you know, I talk about the bat flips and, you know, getting the excitement in baseball out to the younger generation. Uh, there's no better ambassador for that than Jared Carabas and what he does. So uh, to get that out there and be a part of that was really special. Even Raider, who's had more views and videos he made for the Orioles, found this moment special. It feels really, really good to get that amount of attention on a clip from here because, you know, working for the Orioles was really cool, but they already have like their specific target audience and it's, you know, thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. You know, here at Ithaca, you know, we're a very passionate, small community and we get national attention every now and again, but I feel like this is some of the biggest attention non-Cortica um, that the school's ever gotten. Now for what's next. Would we see any future Garrett Callahan bat flips? I mean, I, I got to see how it comes off the bat. Like, I'll do it if, uh, if, if I know right away, but typically I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and I, I think it was a very special scenario where bats were starting to get back into the game and we need a little bit of energy in our dugout. And, I, I mean, I'm sure you could see – I think that made, I think we had six runs after that home run. And I think we ended up putting 13 up on the game. So more importantly, it got us to a team win. It got some energy in the dugout. And yeah, I mean, it was a really, it, it's just a really cool experience just to have your Twitter blow. It was the first time my Twitter ever blew up. So it was kind of cool. And what does Ethan Birch think of his call now? You know, I think my dad said that I was a little too enthusiastic. I think I was I was a little excited that I saw this bomb of a home run and I was getting the chance to the lucky, lucky chance of being able to be on the call for that moment. I think I was a little too excited because it was just the regular home run that would put up them up six nothing. And listen, if that was a walk-off home run, I think the excitement level was a little there, but I think I could tone it down just a touch. But you know, I think people like the enthusiasm and you know, this was the first one I've ever done, so I was I was excited, and I'll definitely admit that. But lo- uh, looking back on it and seeing it on Twitter and seeing how many people ended up liking it was truly special. And honestly, it was just a dream come true because I never thought I'd ever see have seventy thousand people hear my voice. And the fact that it happened and it was baseball and it's my favorite sport, it was it was definitely a, a really really special moment. 
I have been fortunate during my time at IC to have two SC top 10 plays as well as this viral video coming from the Ithaca College athletic teams. I am also fortunate that so many of the Bomber athletic teams are really good, including the baseball team who are 7-1 in the Liberty League, good for first overall, and of course, they're led in home runs by Garrett Callahan, who has six. For Bombers Radio Network, I'm Michael Memes.